all still alive and kicking after another crazy fake Patrick's Day. So this is it. Just one final week of classes before some well-deserved rest and relaxation. But before you're off to some exotic spring break locale, take some time to check out the events going on around campus this week. I'm Morgan Lillick, and this is The Watch. Looking for some silky smooth tunes to start your week? Well, you're in luck. The K-State Concert Band will be performing at 7.30 Monday night at McCain Auditorium. If you're looking to find your groove, this may be the perfect place to start. Now, after you've taken in the talent of K-State's Concert Band, you're probably going to find yourself wanting some more. Now, if that's the case, head over to All Faiths Chapel on Tuesday night at 7.30, where you'll be able to catch the Kansas State University Band in action. Don't miss this opportunity to see some of K-State's most talented musician, musicians do what they do best. College is a great place to meet new friends, discover new experiences, and to make memories that will last forever. Of course, landing a career is kind of what it's all about by the time you're done. So make sure to stop by the ballroom at the Student Union on Wednesday between 11 and 3 for the Common Good Internship and Career Fair. You'll have the chance to visit with employers from dozens of different career fields to find the perfect full-time position or internship that you've been searching for. You'll want to bring along your student ID and plenty of copies of your resume. Oh, and dress professionally. Or don't. It's your career. Also on Wednesday, and also at the Union, the local band The New Northwest will be performing as the Union Program Council's Lunchtime Lounge. So if you're in the Union between noon and one, you hear some good music, grab some lunch and head on over the courtyard. The group recently played at K-State Idol, and although they didn't win, they put on a really good show. I'm sure it'll be more good music on Wednesday. Moving on now to Thursday, the musical melodies around campus continue with the student recital series. Take the opportunity to see some of K-State's top vocalists perform at All Faiths Chapel. The singing starts at 11.30, so don't be late. If you're feeling like a movie, well, maybe more like a political movie, head over to the Union at 2 p.m. for the free UPC-sponsored movie, Inside North Korea. The National Geographic's channel goes undercover to explore North Korea on this informative documentary. Reporter Lisa Ling smuggles herself into the country in disguise, then illustrates how people cope with the oppressive regime that rules the country. I wonder if she'll get to say hello to Kim Jong-il while she was there. I don't know if she did or not, but I guess you can find out if you check it out. Now Thursday continues with more music, as the sultry sounds of the brass section will be on display at Forum Hall at the Student Union. That's where you'll be able to catch a performance by Wayne Gowen's K-State Jazz Ensemble. This show kicks off at 7.30. Have you ever taken in a jazz concert? If you haven't, I highly recommend it. It's like chicken soup for the soul. Or something. It's good. On to the weekend now, and the return of the Batcats. K-State baseball is back in the Little Apple for the first homestand of the 2010 season. It's the, fir excuse me, the first team to make the trek to Toynton Family Stadium this season will be the Kent State Golden Flashes. The series gets underway Friday at, five, uh, Friday at 3, followed by games on Saturday at noon and Sunday at noon as well. The Cats are coming off their best season in team history, so make sure to go down to Toynton and give the boys of spring some support. Now, before you head out of town for your spring break endeavors, you're not going to want to miss the 32nd annual St. Patrick's Day celebration in Aggieville. The day's events kick off at 7.30 in the morning with the Blarney Breakfast at Kite's Bar and Grill. After getting your fill of green eggs and ham, you can catch the St. Patrick's Day Parade through the heart of Aggieville at 11 o'clock. Now following the parade, it's time to put on your running shoes, or in my case, my walking shoes. I'll be taking advantage of the two mile fun walk beginning at 12.30. Now if you're in better shape or just more ambitious, you can tackle the 10K road race, which gets underway at 1.15. For more information, surf over, to the, surf over to the Aggieville Business Association webpage at www.aggieville.org. Now, did you all know 10K is equal to 6.2 miles? Yeah, learn that one in junior high math class. Thanks, Mrs. Cayley. Well, that's all I got for you this week. So enjoy your spring break. Have fun, but be safe. Or at least tell your parents that you will be. I'm Morgan Lillick on The Watch.